This year our Freedom of Expression Award goes to documentarian Aviva Kempner. Some of you may be familiar with her because uh, she's the director of, of The Life and Times of Hank Greenberg. She was also the producer of Partisans of Vilna. She's one of those documentarians who makes a film probably every seven or eight years, and one of the reasons is um, not that she's slow, but that um, <laughs> she really does incredibly in-depth and painstaking research. And the film that we're showing this year at the festival is called You Who, Mrs. Goldberg. And uh, it's about Gertrude Berg, who was the writer, director, creator, and actor of what was first a radio show and then later a television show <coughs> called The Goldbergs. Um, it ran on radio from 1929 until the mid-40s, and then it went off, and then she recreated it, or repurposed it, as we would say in, in lingo of today, um, into a television series that ran from 1946 until 1952, I believe. And um, it's basically about a family called the Goldbergs who live in an uh, apartment building or a tenement, depending on how you look at it, in the Bronx. And uh, Molly Goldberg is the central character. She's a really big, buxom uh, balabusta from the Bronx. And she, uh, her neighbors yell out the air shaft for her. And they don't use the phone like Gentiles. They, uh, they, yell, out, they yell out the air shaft and say, you who, Mrs. Goldberg? And then she and her neighbors talk about recipes and problems and ideas. Um, she was really, uh, she was an amazing businesswoman. Um, Gertrude Berg won the first Emmy for um, uh, Best Actress in the United States. And she also was one of the first people to deal with the, the Holocaust on in a public medium. And she did a show about Kristallnacht very soon after it happened when she did the radio show. So in many ways, um, uh, Viva Kempner has brought back someone from the past who was very well known in this country. At one point there was a poll done and uh, it was said that after uh, Eleanor Roosevelt she was the second best known woman in America. So I think one of the ways that Aviva Kempner sort of weaves magic is by finding an unknown character of the past like Hank Greenberg or like um, Gertrude Berg and really sort of reviving them and, and getting her audience to fall in love with them.